Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. And what I'm going to do today is look at the Chrome app and the layout and changes updates that we saw back in December of 2020. In the Chrome app layout, which you can see here, is very similar on either a Chrome or any other desktop. They have moved all of the pieces to the sides and not just the left or the right, but on both sides now. The left side is anything that you're going to use for an input, something to actually add to and just begin that process. They do have the tabs, so if you end up having one of the limited or free edition models, you may not have access to all of those. Just keep that in mind. Your logos are here as well. Now, one of the other things you can see here is it'll keep both sides open as you add on. Um, I'll show this a little bit later, but the right side seems to be more of how to adjust something when it's been added. So if you look, I went down here and clicked on a block of text, and the block of text opened the right-hand side to show me what I needed for the color. So inside of the Chrome app edition, when you insert an icon, it'll do the same thing. When you click on it, it'll move back and forth. It'll give you the toggle spaces, changing the colors. Again, this is based on the brand that you have selected. I do like the capture tool, which gives you that little circle to be able to pick the, clo the color closest to what you want. So like there, I picked the color off my elf hat. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is as you do the layering tools, it gives you different sections of layers. It doesn't let you toggle up and down. It does have a little bit of information you can delete. One thing that happened, though, is if you're in here, you have to click on the icon and click the replace button to actually change it if you want to change it. If you don't, it'll just start adding new icons to the, to the spot, to the working platform. So keep that in mind as you go along if you're trying to switch icons out or change them while you're doing your workflow. You've noticed before with the side panels on the left and the right open, you can't see your whole piece on your workspace. If you use two fingers and click on it, you can move it from left to right. You can also resize it at the bottom to fit onto the tabletop that you're using where you're working. That allows you to fold through or move through any of the different pieces, the color palettes that you can see or any of the ones that you might have preset. Now, once you're doing this, if you want to move to another set, like change your brand, you actually have to look in a different spot. So one of the things that you'll notice here is when you open your branding, there's no branding picture. There's nothing there to set. If you go to design, you'll see at the top your branding name. If you click the sorting button, it's just going to change the colors inside your brand color block. If you go back to that, to the design piece, and click the arrows at the top section, you'll see all of the brands available, and then you can switch through your brand sets. Now to insert your logos, you have to go back to the left side where those icons are nested in there, and then pick the ones you want. Again, the left side's to insert, the right side's to manipulate your pieces. Again, I wanna say thank you for watching, and if you hit the subscribe button here on the right, uh, that'd be great, or if you click on the middle part, you can see some of the other Adobe Spark videos I've made.